Hi and welcome to Becky's Toy Collection and welcome to today's video. Today I thought I would share my Pound Puppy collection. I think I could say my collection started last fall when I acquired more than one Pound Puppy item. Uh, I did have a lot of Pound Puppies growing up. I used to adore them. They're super super cute and it's one of those things that I actually remember going to the store and buying. And I was standing forever trying to pick out which puppies I wanted. And it's just a very fond memory and I do really like them from my childhood. So I did get a playset like a few years ago I want to say. And since then uh, I didn't buy anything until last fall. But today I'm going to show you everything I have. So if you didn't know, Pound Puppies were first produced in 1984 and has since been uh, taken over by quite a lot of different companies and if you don't know the website Ghost of the Doll they do have a lot of nice information on the vintage toys and do have quite a nice page for Pound Puppies and I will leave that in the link if you want to check that out that's kind of where I found most of the information on toys that I've been looking for because they have a nice search engine and do have a lot of categories and such uh, the Pound Puppies that I collect were produced by Galoob from 1989 to 1996 and I'm gonna start showing off the play sets which is probably not what most people remember about the Pound Puppies but I really like the play sets I think they're super super cute so the first one I have is actually the latest items that I got and it's this play set right here you can see it's a carry play set which is super nice and this is the Pet Pals Stadium and the Galoop play sets come in three different sizes so this is the middle size and there's also a larger one which you can fold up on uh, more angles this one has two folds so kind of snap them right here and you have the first one and these play sets are filled with little hideouts and little go through. So this one goes through the next side. You also have a little sneak right there. You can open, see, this car right here. Like that. You can also open here and here. And there's also a little sneaky hideaway right there. So they can go through, hopefully you can see right there. So there are a lot of different hideouts and a lot of different ways to play with this. And if you snap... Oh no, it fell out. <laughs> so like that, uh, that has actually never happened before. So I think I might have poked it a bit too much. But I'll just close everything up. And we will take a look at the other side. And here's the side so you can see the the hole through the next side you have a little slide right here and this one is actually left open so this one's connected to the other side too you have this little swing right here in the front so you can place your little puppy or Perry or other figure right there has also one of these openings in the front and you can just lift this bed open also have this little duck that your puppies and Perrys can sit on you can see one part is like the backyard and the alley design and the other one is like a cozy little house. And these come, I think they come with three different little miniatures. I don't have all of them. So next I have the first playset that I got and this is the Keyboard Corner Hideaway and this of course is the smaller size. But again it has the two hideaways right here and right there. And it does have a handle, but not one of those with the holes like the larger one. But it's just a simple... So here's the diner side, and you can see it has these little pegs right here. And when you put your puppies on here, and then kind of switch this one, they kind of move. I'll just take one and show you. So you can see they're kind of dancing right there. Do you have a smaller slide right here? And let's see. Can open. can open right here. And I kind of forgot to dust this one, so it's a bit dusty. I usually have this part closed, and it actually took a while for me to understand that you could open them. 
But you can see right here, they have a slide going through. It's a little mirror right there and a little sitting area. And I hope you don't hear the ice cream van kind of roaming around in here on the outside making a lot of noise. But if you're wondering what it is, it's just the ice cream truck. So that's that side and you kind of can just close it up. And here's the back side. You can, can see it has this paper bag right here. It has a little walkthrough from this side. And it's just super cute. And you can just close everything up again like that. Next one I have is this little guy and it's the Happy Home Hideout. And you can see this one actually has the like a bit movable handle and you can I can hold it for real. But again you can open them both ways. So let's start with this side first. And you can see it has this little cage right here where you can open and you have this side right here. Which you can open and you can, you can take your puppy inside. And let's close that. And we also have a Heidi right there that goes through through the other side. Let's see if I can open it. Oh, shall we want to go around? Of course, here it is. And you have the secret door right here. Hopefully you can see it right there. And you can, you can open it right here and it goes through like that. We have a little balancing board swingy thing. We also have one of these play things, which I'm not sure what it's called, but we have those. I'm always a bit scared to open it, but here we go. So you can open that, and it's like a bedroom theme. So we have a little hide right there, and then we have one right under the bed. Hopefully, you can see the super cute details. I really like this setup, it looks very nice. Close that, close that, close everything. And just take a look at the outside again because I don't remember if I showed you that or not. But here that is. We do have the box right here and you can see the super cute box art. The box is a bit beaten up but it's still lovely. So you can see here it says two side play set. Has a lot of puppies and puppies right here, and this is the design of the Kaloob logo. So if you go on eBay or anything and see this one, it's quite easy to see which one they are made for or what a company produced them. This is gonna be a bit close, but hopefully my camera wants to focus anyway. Here's just the side, and it kind of shows you a few different. Play, playing sets and here on the back you can see different sets, different kind of Heidi's and different sets and kind of how you can play with it and it does have a little backstory right here and it just says we are little pound puppies and pound puppies who love to hide and play with our special two-in-one play set we can escape from the junkie yards to a pretty place full of fun we're so small and cute we can hide in secret places and crawl through hideaway doors from one play area to another. Catch us if you can. And it's just super cute. And one of my one of my favorite things is right here on the bottom. I just love like commercial toy commercial where you can see. So here you can see the three different sizes that I talk about. So this is the middle size. This one we have or I just showed you. This is a larger size larger size size, not side. And here's the smaller one. So these smaller ones uh, you can do see quite often. And then you can see the plushies right here, both the family sets with the smaller ones and you know the normal mother or father and then babies. And you can also have the fashion puppies which I love. I so need to get me one of those. And they also made playset pet packs which was just with the tiny figures. You can buy separate which I would love to get a mint on card too. And here's just the side, the same. I do have a few of the puppies that comes with the play sets and I'm not sure where all of these fit. As I said, I think I have two for the larger one and then I have some smaller ones. Yeah, so these two are the ones that I think are to the larger one uh, according to like the box art. I'm missing one. It's supposed to come with a white pound parry too. I do have these, so you kind of can see they have two different molds. So you have one with shorter hair and one, 
You get one with shorter ears and one with longer ears. And then we also have this one, which like has a semi-long ears. And you can see they also come in different colors. So the same mold in different colors. We have this one right here, which is a cream color with black ears. And we also have this one, which just has swapped, kind of, kind of swapped uh, color scheme. Then we have a variation for the tiny eared one. And let's see if we can take a look at their super cute faces. Okay, I can see their faces right here. And they're just super, super cute. Also have some purries. So I got two of these gray little ones. And I also have one of these with kind of a brown creamy color. That's all of the purries and all of the play sets that I have. They made quite a few of these tiny play sets uh, with also a different, few different themes. So I'm not sure if, you told, if I told you but they do have the pound purries and the pound puppies which, were, which was the main like main focus and main line. But they also made a few different things like a jungle theme and they do have a jungle themed miniature play set which looks super cute and also like a school and a jungle park and a few different things with a few different of these tiny animals which is super cute and I wish I had that too I wish I had everything but let's move on and I think I will show you my still in box or mint on card plushies or soft toys and the first one I have is right here and I know the black one is a bit hard to see especially in the camera but you can see it kind of has this super soft little nose or cheeks and then he has like shorter hair up here and it does have two eyes even if most of one is covered and here are the ones, other ones I have so I do remember picking some of these up when I was young and I just think they're adorable. I made a few different ones so you can also get like with five puppies I think. And then some with like uh, like a double pack so you have three here and three there like on a longer card. But these are the pound puppies. Pure bread include adoption. So this was one of those like classical adopt adoption thing where you actually adopt so... I uh, kind of like the Cabbage Patch Kids, which they compared on on the webpage, so it's not my comparison. But kind of like the responsibility of having your own dog and taking care of it and kind of rescuing it. Which I think is a nice, nice message to kids that you should uh, adopt animals and not just go to the toy, uh, toy store. <laughs> not go to the pet store and buy them, so you kind of need to take care of all little animals. And again, you can see... Like this giant picture is quite uh, well used on the internet. So if you see pound puppies, this is one of the images you kind of see a lot. And the card also shows the play sets right here. And some of the others. So these are the fashion pups. And also the brush and style pups, which is adorable. Need to get me some of those. So that's the first one I have. Also have this set, which the box... Uh, and box art looks exactly the same just have some different and you kind of can see here right there is the purebred and you kind of can see the little the breed of it right there and the same here so this is Scottish Terrier and this is a Welsh Terrier and I can't say Terrier because I'm saying it with a Swedish accent but I think it works anyway so again, a little fluffy one, and then we get one with just long ears, and one with short ears, and they're just adorable. This is the last one that I have in package, and you can see this one is super fluffy, and I'm not sh good at dog bread, so you can see here, right here, it's a show show. Not sure what bread that is, I've never heard of it, but it does look cute again. One with short ears and one with long ears, and they're all super cute. That's all of my package ones, and I also have a few loose. I do really want more of them because they're just adorable. And I will just start with this one, which is my only pound puppy that I have from my childhood. It has survived. I found it uh, when I went to get my 
old Barbie stuff from my mother and this one was in there and it's just so cute. It's a bit dirty and he does, does have his uh, tag cut off but I'm really happy to have him. I do remember having like a cream colored with long ears. That's also one that I like have strong connection to like remembering. But I have that one. And then I have this one which is also like a cream color but more on the yellow side with some more brown reddish spots right there and also have these ears kind of folded up and it is stitched through so it's supposed to look like this this is not something I have done to style him but he doesn't have a tag also have one of these with a little longer ears and just cream all one color no tag but it's a cutie next one I have some spotted one and I have this one with super long ears and it's kind of have a white body or it's probably supposed to have a white body once upon a time and then some black spots and it does have the tags you kind of can see here most of it is kind of rubbed off but you can see the logo still and just some information right there got one more spotted one and this is probably a brother to the first one does have shorter ears but still the same coloring got a tag here so the tag on this one is much nicer than the other one the last one I have is this one which again semi long ears right there and I'm not sure if these ones I think this one because it does have a little uh, thread right there it's supposed to have its ears like this like the first one but that's gone so it just looks like this doesn't have a tag he's grey and it's just not, it's not that he is like dirty grey but he was supposed to be grey and some black spots last thing I have and like one of my favorite pieces it's my all one and only like parent puppy or parent dog it's not a puppy anymore so if you got the pack with the mother or father and then some babies you got these larger ones and for size comparison you kind of can see them right here and this one is so soft if you're following me for a while you might have seen my whole video with this and I was just I was just amazed how soft this body is it's just the best thing ever and his face is just adorable and I'm kind of thinking that this is probably like closer to the size of the fashion puppies and I do want those so I'm not sure if this is like a collection video or just a video of me talking of things I want to buy but yeah so this one is so so soft and I love it it doesn't have a tag but I love it and that's my whole collection so I'm gonna try to kind of put everything together to give you an overview of it so this is probably not the best overview, but I hope you kind of can see it. It's not the largest collection out there, but I'm super happy with everything I got. And hopefully I will add some more to my collection over time. But please let me know what you think of this. And if you remember your pound puppies, or you remember pound puppies from growing up. As I said, they have remade them a couple of times. And I do think they're still in some kind of production according to the internet. But yeah. And let me know what you think. <gasps> Is this the same puppy like that one? No, it wasn't. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching my video. I do hope you like it. Please leave a comment letting me know what you think. And if you want to see some more of my collections, please feel free to ask if there's something special you want to see. Don't forget I do have an Instagram account where I post a lot of toy photos and do subscribe if you want to see my videos every time I upload them. So thank you for watching, do take care, hope to see you soon, bye!